Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we tackle preparation like nobody's business. Today's video is a wake-up call to all my fellow Americans and dedicated preppers out there. The world, as we see it, stands on the brink of something major, and it's not just the everyday storm we're used to weathering together. This time, we're zeroing in on a scenario we pray never unfolds, a mainland attack on our very soil. Before we jump into the heart of today's topic, which is the eight essential preps to stockpile ASAP, pause for a moment. Reflect on this. Are you truly braced for what could be lurking around the corner? Can you confidently say your family will be safe if disaster strikes? Stick around because you're about to find out exactly what antibiotics and medical essentials you need to have on hand. And believe me, we're only scratching the surface here with a potential invasion or large-scale crisis looming. The notion might send shivers down your spine, but fear is not our policy. Preparedness is, and that's exactly what we're here for. So without further ado, let's dive into the eight essential preps you need to stockpile ASAP. Eight EA seeds and gardening tools. In a world where the unexpected can become our reality overnight, it's imperative to ponder over more sustainable, long-term survival strategies. And what better way to ensure this than turning our backyards into bountiful gardens? Yes, folks, when we talk about true resilience in the face of adversity, we're talking about seeds and gardening tools, your unsung heroes in times of crisis. Now, imagine this scenario. A mainland attack has hit, and the grocery shelves are bare. What's your game plan? If your answer isn't starting with a stockpile of seeds and a plan to green your fingers, then sit tight because we're about to change that perspective. First off, understanding your family's food needs is crucial. We're all for canned beans and rice, but sustainability is key. This means calculating the amount of food required based on the number of mouths to feed and their dietary requirements. Remember, a diverse seed stockpile isn't just for show. It's your best bet against unforeseen crop failures and dietary boredom. Now, addressing the elephant in the room, space. You're probably wondering, how much green space do I need to feed a family of four? Bring for at least 4,000 square feet of growing space. But it's not just about the space. It's about knowing your crops and their yields. Picture this, a single tomato plant that can churn out 10 to 15 pounds of tomatoes. That's a whole summer's worth of pasta sauces, salads, and more, just from one plant. And here's a pro tip that could potentially save your future harvest from disaster. Stagger your planting. Through succession planting, you'll not only extend your harvest season, but also dodge the bullet of losing your entire crop to a sudden pest invasion or a bout of bad weather, moving beneath the surface to soil and composting. Trust us, this is where the magic happens. Turning your kitchen scraps into compost isn't just an eco-friendly practice. It's the secret sauce to a healthy, nutrient-rich garden. However, don't leap without looking. Ensure to test your soil to understand its nutrient and pH levels. Gardening, after all, is a science water, the lifeblood of your garden. And in crisis scenarios, it shouldn't be taken for granted. This is where rainwater harvesting comes into play. Setting up barrels to catch rainwater can be a game changer, ensuring your garden's thirst is quenched even when tap water isn't an option. Just ensure to check the local regulations concerning water collection. But the saga of sustainable survival doesn't end with planting and nurturing. It extends into harnessing community knowledge, the practice of preservation, and the art of storage, canning, drying, and fermenting to keep your harvest edible throughout the year. Equip yourself with the right tools, jars, lids, a sturdy canner, and maybe even a root cellar. Lastly, security and discretion in your gardening efforts could mean the difference between thriving and mere surviving. Fences to ward off uninvited guests, both animal and human, along with creative mixed planting strategies, can keep your food resources safe and under the radar. 7. Mastering Maps and Tools in today's unpredictable world, where natural disasters loom and the threat of a mainland attack can feel alarmingly real, being prepared is not just an option, it's a necessity. And friends, when we talk about prep essentials, maps and navigation tools are at the top of the list. Imagine this, our beloved tech, our phones and GPS systems suddenly go dark. 
What? It's time we take a deep dive into why having physical maps and being a pro at using them could quite literally save your life. First things first, the types of maps you should have on hand. Think local, think broad. Secure those intricate street maps of your surrounding area because knowing every possible exit route could be your key to safety. Then level up to regional maps that span your state and its neighbors. Vital for plotting longer journeys or evacuating quickly. And don't overlook topographical maps for that invaluable terrain perspective, particularly if the wilderness is your escape route or near. But what's a map without its trusty sidekick? The compass. Alongside a lensatic or orienteering compass, keep a protractor close for pinpoint map reading and a ruler with pencils for marking essential routes and notes. And remember, redundancy is key. Multiple copies of each map, with one set safely in your residence and another stashed in your vehicle or bug out bag, ensures you're always ready. And to battle the elements, waterproofing these precious guys is a However, owning these tools is merely half the battle. The real game changer is mastering their use. Don't skimp on investing time and effort into learning the art of map reading and navigation. Seek out courses, be they through local clubs, community colleges, or online, and immerse yourself in practice. And when you're ready for a challenge, explore celestial navigation. That's right. Learning to find your way by the sun, moon, and stars isn't just for sailors. It's a survival skill that could come in clutch. Preparation doesn't stop with just you. Sharing this critical knowledge with family and friends multiplies your safety net. Plan collectively for multiple routes to key locations like family meeting points, essential resources, and safe zones tailored to different travel scenarios, including on foot. Don't forget, the world changes, and so do maps. Keeping them updated is crucial for their reliability. While the emphasis here is on the trusty paper map, complementing them with offline digital maps stored on devices coupled with a solar charger can provide a smart backup. 6E Secure Your Energy Supply Hang on tight, folks, because we're about to dive into something absolutely critical. Your fuel preparedness strategy before a mainland attack strikes the U.S. It might sound straight out of a movie, but given the unpredictability of today's world, it's better to gear up than get caught off guard. Why is fuel such a big deal, you ask? Well, it's literally the heartbeat of our daily routines. From keeping our homes warm, our food cooked, to ensuring our generators kick in when the world around us goes dark. Fuel isn't just about transportation. It's the unsung hero in crises. First things first, calculating your fuel needs isn't rocket science. Start simple. Examine your everyday consumption for heating, cooking, and driving. Then factor in seasonal changes and potential emergency scenarios that might spike your fuel demand. Next up, gasoline, your go-to for cars and generators. But safety can't be an afterthought. Store it in certified containers away from your living space. Here's a golden nugget. Adding fuel stabilizers can significantly increase your gasoline shelf life. But remember, rotation is key to freshness and always keep local storage laws in check. Propane stands out for its versatility and longevity, perfect for grilling, heating, or even running certain appliances. Just ensure those tanks are stored safely. For those leaning towards the classics, kerosene is reliable for heating and lighting, provided it's stored correctly. For diesel users, the mantra stays the same. Stabilize, store, rotate. If you're nestled in a forested area, wood and biomass may just be your trump card for heating and cooking. Ensure you've got a dry stockpile ready. Or if you have the right equipment, biomass briquettes or pellets are fantastic substitutes. Solar power deserves a special shout out. Portable solar panels and batteries can be lifesavers for keeping your smaller gadgets alive when the grid fails you. Remember folks, the key to fuel storage is safety and regulation compliance. Use only approved containers, keep them a safe distance from your living quarters, and stay informed on local law. Assessing your fuel needs means considering daily use, potential emergency durations, climate, household size, and mobility in crises. Don't skimp on regular checks for leaks or wear and tear in your storage areas. Freshness and condition of your stock are critical. Lastly, have you pondered over wind turbines or geothermal systems? They might just fit your energy profile. 
Plus, never underestimate the power of community during hard times, building connections, sharing resources, and exchanging information with neighbors and local groups could very well be your ace in the hole in a crisis scenario. 5. IUA Piusting Morale with Essential Entertainment Preps When disaster strikes, it's not just about having enough food and water to survive. Your mental well-being is just as crucial. Imagine being cut off from the digital world, no net. What's your plan then? This is where the magic of having a solid entertainment stash comes into play, transforming a trying situation into an opportunity to connect and even enjoy. Imagine digging into a treasure trove of books that transport you to other realms, guide you on how to do practically anything, or simply make you laugh out loud. And when turning pages becomes too mundane, break out the board games and puzzles. Not only do they promise hours of group fun, but they also keep the mind sharp. Don't underestimate the power of creativity during these times. A sketch pad or some knitting supplies can become your sanctuary, offering solace through expression. And of course, the role of music in lifting spirits can't be overstated. Is there someone among you who can strum a tune? That could be priceless. Plus, journaling isn't just for chronicling events. It's a potent way to sift through your thoughts and maintain a semblance of sanity. In today's tech-savvy world, a preloaded portable media player could be your best friend, offering an escape with your favorite tunes, audiobooks, and ebooks all while off-grid. And don't forget to move. A simple soccer ball or frisbee can bring much-needed laughter and normalcy. For the little ones, comfort items are key. A beloved toy or blanket can provide immense comfort in uncertain times. Remember, variety is the spice of life, and having a range of options to suit various ages and interests is key. These entertainment preps are more than just time fillers. They're a lifeline to mental and emotional stability. Surviving a crisis is not just about the body, but keeping the mind and spirit resilient. Four, next up, we're diving into the critical world of medical supplies. But hey, this isn't just about playing it safe. It's about arming our families with the tools to thrive, not just survive. Picture this idiotics. They're not just important. They're your medical knights in shining armor. We're talking a lineup, including amoxicillin, ciprofloxacin, doxycycline, and metronidazole. Imagine having enough to shield each family member for six months to the secret. Store them like your finest treasures in a cool, dry fortress. But here's the kicker. Knowing when to deploy these knights is crucial to fend off the dragons of infection effectively. But wait, there's more. We can't forget about those daily champions, prescription meds. If you're picturing a six-month supply of your must-haves, you're on the right track. Assign each medication its role. Know its story, essage, and expiration and you'll be orchestrating a symphony of well-being. And for those unexpected skirmishes, your first aid kit should be armed to the teeth. From the humble bandage to the mighty tourniquet and burn dressings, be ready for whatever battle wounds come your way. For the more intense confrontations, having a suture kit and sterile gloves might just make you the hero of the day. Don't overlook the silent guardians, hygiene supplies. Stockpile your army of alcohol wipes, hand sanitizers, and disinfectants to keep those invisible foes at bay. But remember, knowledge is your most powerful weapon. Whether it's basic first aid or CPR, make sure you're trained to lead in crisis. Arm yourself with a trusty first aid manual. And don't forget the everyday soldiers. Over-the-counter meds like antihistamines, cough suppressants, and anti-diarrheal medications. Special forces are crucial, too. Consider the unique needs of the young and old warriors in your clan and anyone battling on the front lines of chronic conditions. Your preparedness could be their saving grace in the storm of crisis, where medical care becomes the gold everyone's seeking. Your foresight in stockpiling and education could be the difference between thriving and just surviving. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Three. Navigating the world of communication devices in emergency prep. In an era where being connected is almost as vital as air, 
the disruption of normal communication channels during a crisis can be profoundly disorienting. This makes having a robust plan for emergency communication an indispensable part of any preparedness strategy. Consider the humble radio, not just any radio, but a crank or solar-powered model, ensuring you stay informed even when electricity is a distant memory. These devices can access AM stations and often NOAA weather alerts, providing real-time information critical for making informed decisions. But why stop there? Walkie-talkies can be a game-changer for maintaining contact with family or community members within a certain radius, especially when cell towers are down or overloaded. For more extensive ranges, a ham radio amateur radio enters the scene, allowing communication over hundreds of miles, assuming you or someone in your group is licensed to operate it. Satellite phones, though pricey, break through the limitations of terrestrial communication networks, offering a line out to the world when traditional methods fail. While tech plays a critical role, never underestimate the power of a well-thought-out plan. Establishing a communication protocol with family and community members. Identifying who to contact, how, and under what circumstances can streamline efforts and reduce panic when every second counts. Keeping a hard copy of important contacts and a physical map can be invaluable when digital devices give out or need conserving for critical communications. In the pulse of a crisis, these tools and strategies ensure that when words need to travel, they find a way through the silence. 2. Delving into the nuanced realm of barter items. We recognize the profound value these goods can hold in times of scarcity. In a situation where currency may lose its immediate value, tangible goods become the currency of survival and co-op. Consider stocking up on items like water purifiers and filters, essential for any long-term survival scenario. But it doesn't stop there. Non-perishable foods, seeds for gardening, and even basic tools can become invaluable. Think also of the everyday luxuries we take for granted. Coffee, tea, chocolates. These can become small treasures in trying times, offering comfort and a semblance of normalcy, not to mention their potential as high-demand barter items. Additionally, first aid supplies and over-the-counter medications, often overlooked, are vital they not only serve a practical purpose, but can be bartered for equally important goods. It's also wise to consider items that support self-sufficiency, such as books on survival skills or gardening. In this way, bartering does not just facilitate the exchange of goods, but the sharing of knowledge and skills strengths. Remember, the objective in stocking barter items is not just to amass goods, but to foster goodwill, share resources, and build networks that could prove essential in rebuilding communities. 1. Personal protective equipment and NBC gear for crisis management. In the echelons of emergency preparedness, having a comprehensive understanding and stockpile of personal protective equipment, PIP, and nuclear, biological, and this gear acts as the last line of defense in the face of threats that are invisible but potentially the most devastating. Starting with pi -P Items like high-quality masks, N95 or higher, gloves, and protective eyewear form the basic barrier against pathogens and hazardous materials. Coveralls and protective suits further insulate the wearer from direct contact with harmful substances or environments. Shifting focus to NBC gear, the scenario becomes more specialized. This includes gas masks capable of filtering out a wide range of toxic agents and hazmat suits designed to protect against radioactive materials, biological pathogens, and chemical threats. These suits are categorically chosen based on the level of protection they offer, ranging from basic splash protection to full encapsulation, which is impermeable to gases and vapors. Equally important is the knowledge and training on how to properly use this equipment. Without the correct usage, even the most advanced gear can fail to offer its intended protection. Regular drills and practice on donning, doffing, and decontamination procedures ensure that in a real crisis, these protective measures can be employed effectively. Ultimately, the integration of PP and MBC gear into your emergency preparedness strategy fortifies your defense against a spectrum of threats, safeguarding not just the individual, 
but also the wider community by preventing the spread of cont preparing with the right equipment is a major step forward in ensuring resilience and safety in unpredictable times.